First off, I want to thank Pasco High School for giving me money for winning the science fair, well, getting second place, to buy this camera. <clears throat> okay, but the main reason I'm here is because today I talked to a pretty cool person in school day, and he uh, was nice enough to teach me the cool, or should I say, cool enough to teach me the cool. Alright, so the first thing, and, and, and you know, you're really lucky, because I'm going to teach you the cool through an object lesson. <laughs> Yay! Now, <clears throat> the first rule about cool is you can't teach it. It can't be taught, so I'm basically losing all my cool right here. And the way I was taught the cool was it's basically like milk. Fortunately, I'm not going to use milk, but water works just as well. So, for the cool, basically, this is you. This is your cool. Your cool is you. The reason that, what decides how big your glass is, is by how many friends you have. If you've got a lot of friends, you got a really big glass. If you don't have a lot of friends, you got a really small glass. <clears throat> now, what makes you cool is what other people think of you. See, if you're really cool, then you more, the more people that think you are cool, the more cool you get. See, you could have the biggest, you have the most friends in the world, but if nobody thinks you're cool, then you just wouldn't have any cool. Also, there's cool in real life, and there's internet cool. Internet cool is always smaller than normal cool. The internet cool is decided by, like, YouTube. If you upload stuff to YouTube, you automatically get some internet cool. If people like your videos, then you get that. And you see, if people don't like your videos, then you lose internet cool. But I guess that's not good because it doesn't go into your real life cool. It, it just goes nowhere. <clears throat> Alright. Now. The reason he was willing to teach me cool is because he has like 102 friends. Real life friends. He knows them all. And, you know, it's not cool to teach the cool, but the only way the cool can be taught is if you have so much cool that your cool is overflowing. You see, you got so much cool that, you know, and you don't want to waste cool, so, you know, there you go. The only way that you can have a bigger glass without having lots of friends is if you're an anti-socialist and you have no friends at all. See? Anti-socialists... Now, anti-socialists, their cups are not see-through. You can't see how much cool they have. Their cups are like this. You can't, you can't see their cool. The only way to see how much cool they have is to open up and see it. But you can't! You can only see inside an anti-socialist's cool is if you're their friend. But if you're their friend, then they're not, they're not anti-social anymore. So then they have a see-through cup. But no anti-socialist does that. See? Because they wouldn't be an anti-socialist anymore. And everybody thinks the anti-socialist is cool. Everyone wants to be their friend. But... Because they can't. So anti-socialists, they can, their cup can be any size they want, but they will always have the same amount of cool. But it's usually a lot of cool. <clears throat> also, people can contribute different amounts of cool. <clears throat> For example, if lame people think you're cool, they don't have a lot of cool that they can spare, so they can't really give you a lot of cool. But the really cool people, 
they have so much cool that if they think you're cool, you know, if many people think you're cool, they all they obviously think you're cool because they're not cool. But you can become cool like these people if it, the only way to be really cool is that if cool already cool people think you're cool. If lame people think you're cool, you just get a tiny amount of cool. I mean, that doesn't help. But you see, you have cool people think you're cool because then you're cool like them. And you see, if you become friends with the cool people, and then you got this much cool, you become the really cool people. And then you can like think that the lame people are cool, but it's not cool to think the lame people are cool because they're lame. They're not cool. So you just take their cool. Also, the reason he wanted me to use water for this thing, I mean he wanted me to use milk instead of water, is because milk is like the best way to show this part. You see, if a teacher, okay, if a teacher thinks that you're cool, then you get teacher cool, see? And, you know, if a student thinks you're cool, you get that. And it's not like, like oil and water. It mixes. It mixes together until you have a whole ton of cool. Like, he had so much cool, like, I thought his cool would be black, so people would actually think he was anti-socialist. But, no. All the cools mixed together. Cool is actually a white color, like milk. See, if you add 1% milk and skim milk together, it's still white. It's, it's still white. But, <clears throat> also, leveling up. That's another way you can get cool without anybody thinking you're cool. For example, um, I'm a freshman right now, but when I become a sophomore, I'm going to get cool automatically. Because I'm, I'm cooler than a freshman. I'm not cooler than a freshman now, but when I become a sophomore, I will be cooler than a freshman. <clears throat> and depending on how you use your cool as a sophomore, depends on how much cool you get as a junior. <clears throat> For example, you the way you would invest cool is you are cool enough to hang out with other sophomores who are also cool. So if you hang out with sophomores, your glass also gets bigger and you get more cool. And the more cool you get, the cooler you are. When you become a junior, and say you didn't use your cool, you, you like were lame, just hang out with lame people, or just lame. Your glass is small because it's not cool to hang out with lame people. And maybe maybe you'd still have a big glass, but you wouldn't have very much cool, you see? When you become a junior, if you use your cool good, you get even more cool from the lame people, because they don't need their cool. They're not cool. The only way you can get cool is if other people think you are cool. And even even if you didn't use your cool as a sophomore or a junior, when you become a senior, you get a whole ton of cool. But if you're lame, you're easily going to get rid of that cool. And so, that's the cool. If you want to be cool, first, you gotta have lots of friends so you can have a big cup. Another big tip is you gotta make people think you're cool. You don't have to be cool. But if people think you're cool, you automatically become cool. So, if you be real cool, then people think you're cool, though, so they don't have the cool, and you're the cool. And when you're cool, you're cool. You're cool.